going to give you guys a breakdown of day two of the NBA playoffs. No advanced stats, just facts. Welcome to Chip Center. Let's get into it. Miami versus Boston. Miami can basically beat five or six teams in the Eastern Conference this year. Boston is not one of those five or six teams. Jaime Jaquez, the rookie out of UCLA, is looking like Jimmy Butler 2.0 on offense. So he can fill the void for the Heat offensively. Defensively, he plays hard, but he's still got a long way to go. There's still a huge void for the team. Porzingis is looking like the missing key for the Boston Celtics. He's the piece that completes them. However, Jason Tatum still doesn't have the, what I like to call, FU in his game. With all that being said, have Celtics in four, and also have the Celtics going all the way to the finals. Next up, we had Dallas versus the Clippers. The game kind of got away from Dallas in the first quarter, but that was a quarter where it really could have went either way. The shots just happened to not fall, but if these shots did fall, that would have changed the complete outlook of the game. The Mavs are so bad defensively that Jason Kidd has to come up with a thousand different schemes just to keep them competitive. These players that have their podcast, they're not saying nothing in the podcast, and at the same time, they're not doing nothing in the game. Prime playoff P was in full effect last night. Another note that I had was Luka really loves to operate on that left wing, whether he's getting into a step back jump shot or turning it around for a post up on the left block. The only problem with that is that Kyrie loves to operate from the same spot. I think that was the Clippers best shot. I do have Dallas winning the series in seven. Bucks versus Pacers. Dame Lillard is still Dame Lillard. There's no way around it. Now he has that extra chip on his shoulder. He went bananas. Indy is an interesting team. They don't have a Batman. They have a bunch of Robins. For me, they remind me of like the all suburban Catholic school team. You know, these guys are all nice guys. They have a lot of athletes on the wing and they play with a lot of fast stretch fours. It's just something is missing from this team. I got Milwaukee in five. And the last game of the day was the closest game. New Orleans versus Oklahoma City was the best game of the night. You would expect Oklahoma City, you guys work so hard to be the number one seed. And you're matched up against a New Orleans team that's down their best player in Zion. You would expect them to come in and make a statement. You know, your home is the first home playoff game in a long time for Oklahoma City. They did not. I mean, it was still a good win, but they didn't make a statement. New Orleans really didn't get much from Brandon Ingram. Trey Murphy, you're a future star. You're going to make a lot of money in this league. But in the end, Shea and the young boys closed them out. In this series, I see Oklahoma City winning in six games.